Okay, so if you want more money in Resident Evil 4, there's an easy way to do it. Maybe you want to get the infinite rocket launcher and you need 2 million to do so. Or maybe you just want a load more money to upgrade all of your guns. In this video, I'll show you how to get the money. So what you want to do if you want to become a millionaire as quickly as possible is to get the right charms. Now, if we're talking about getting the infinite launcher specifically, which as mentioned costs 2 million pesetas, then there's a charm that will make getting it a whole lot easier. That charm is called the Leon with rocket launcher charm. It makes the infinite rocket launcher cost 20% less, knocking its price down from 2 million to 1.6 million and that's going to save you a whole lot of time. So get the Leon with Rocket Launcher charm. And there are three other charms that come in handy when trying to make money. These are the following. The Leon with Shotgun charm increases ammo resale value by 40%. So if you're selling ammo at, say, 500 pesetas, with this charm, you'll sell it for 700 which really mounts up the more ammo you sell. So craft and save up as much ammo as you can, then sell it for loads more with this charm. The next charm to help you get more money is the Luis Serra charm. This increases weapon resale value by 20%. So again, when you sell to the merchant, this will add a nice little 20% bonus profit for you. What I would do here is, if I'm trying to get the infinite rocket launcher, is to sell all of my weapons and ammo right before I buy the launcher, rather than ages before. That way, I'm not running around weaponless. I can use my weapons right up until it's time to cast them in. And the final money-making charm is this one, a really underrated one. It's the Rhinoceros Beetle charm. And this one doubles the resale value of health recovery items. So it adds a massive 100% value to things like the first aid spray and herbs. Make sure to combine your herbs by crafting them together because if you manage to craft all three together, and that's the red, the yellow, and the green one, and then you sell them with this rhinoceros beetle charm, you'll double the already huge amount you'll get for it. So this charm is really useful. But how do we get these three charms? You do of course have to win them in the Merchant's Shooting Gallery, which offers a total of 31 possible charms. And you can find the Shooting Gallery in the following locations. Do all of these shooting galleries and maximize your chances of getting the right charms. Each shooting range contains three new shooting minigames to master. Score high enough to earn silver and gold tokens and then slot them into the machine to get a randomly generated charm. If the charm you're trying for isn't popping out, then you can always trade Spinnel for more gold tokens with the merchant. And then you can use these gold tokens to get more charms. But let's say the unthinkable happens and you just can't get those charms to come out. Well, there are a few points in the game where you can boost your bank balance. First of these, and not a lot of people know about this one, is by harpooning the crates in the lake during the Del Lago boss fights. Every crate you harpoon gets you 1,000. Pesitas. Now you can't do this after the Del Lago's dead, so when you're just boating around the lake after it's dead, the crates only give you 100. But during the fight, harpoon them to multiply that amount by 10. It's hard to do when the Del Lago is dragging you around, it's still pretty much almost impossible, so what I like to do is aim when the Del Lago has become detached from your boat, and you're just floating motionless on the water. It's a lot easier, and you can get a few thousand pesetas that way, pesetas, pesod, potatoes. The next way you can make money really quickly in the campaign is to flash these crows. In chapter three, you can kill a load of crows at once with a flashbang, a single flashbang, and get loads of money and spinels. Crows always have a chance to drop spinels and cash, which you can sell to the merchants. But this bit in particular features the most crows in one location in the whole game. Another way to get loads of money is farming fish. For example, this bit after the Del Lago boss fight lets you kill loads of defenseless fish and the total amount you can get for selling them is over 10,000 pesetas. The bigger the fish, the more money you can get. So make sure to kill fish whenever you can. And finally, you can also get more money from the second El Gigante boss fight. And to do that, all you have to do is kill the boss manually. 
and by that I mean don't drop them into the lava, shoot them to death instead and you'll be able to collect gems from their corpses. The small boss drops a yellow diamond, whereas the armoured one drops a red barrel. You know what to do with these, sell them to the merchant for money. So that's how to get more money in Resident Evil 4. In short, get the charms I mentioned and also kill crows and fish. Thanks for watching, like the video if it helped you out and remember to subscribe to the channel for more Resident Evil 4 guides. We can get through here. I think we can get through here.